Hello, we are back for Conversations with Candace, um, and this is on Big Brother episode 15. So it came on on Thursday. I'm a little behind, but you know, weekends been busy. Let me see, I wrote down some notes because there's so much to know. Um, so as you know, Quinn put up Rabina um, as the replacement nominee since Tucker took himself off the block. Um, Quinn told the visionaries, which is T-Core and Chemo, about um, the Pentagon because they are not in that alliance, but they're in the collective. And T-Core is not happy and she's trying to figure out like, how loyal is Quinn? Is he going to be loyal to them, like he says, or will it be the collective? Will it be the Pentagon? I mean, there's so many alliances here that are in play with Quinn. Um, and then Quinn, you know, openly told him that he did not want to flip on the collective while Tucker's still in the house, because again, that is numbers, because that's, I think, nine of them or whatever. Um, so, I don't know. What do you think about Quinn's decision to tell T-Core and Chemo about the Pentagon? Do you think that was smart? Not smart? To be honest, I probably wouldn't have told them. I probably would have kept that to myself um, and let that play out because it's going to dwindle sometime. Um, and I would have told them when they needed desperately to know. Right now, they don't really need to know because they have this bigger alliance that t -Core and Chemo are a part of. So why would you tell them about a smaller alliance within that bigger alliance that they're not a part of? That, to me, it didn't make sense. Um, so now Chemo is like, ooh, maybe we flip against the collective and vote Cedric out because he doesn't know where... Quinn's um, allegiance and loyalty lies. I mean, I think it's a great idea. So we'll see how this plays out. So in the second part of the show, oh my gosh, there was so much that happened. I had to write notes. Um, so Rabina, Brooklyn, Chemo, t -Core, and Tucker have formed a new alliance called the Five Points. <clears throat> but as they're sitting there talking about it, Angela is eavesdropping because she needs to know where Tucker is at all times. <laughs> so then she politely interrupts and says, I would love to be a part of this. Can I be a part of this, y'all? I'll be the bottom of the barrel. Can I be the part of this? Angela, that is not how you play the game. That means you're at the bottom of the barrel and they don't care about you if you weren't included in the original creating of an alliance. I thought she said she was a super fan. This is not how you play, <clears throat> but whatever. So I think they, they were like caught off guard and kind of just like froze and like didn't know how to respond to her asking that question. But as Tucker said in his diary room, interview is like, well, she's another number. So they formed another alliance called the Tanks. <laughs> um, again, it's a number. So, okay, let Angela in and kind of have her as a sub-level or a sub-member of the alliance because you can't tell her too much because she might use it against you or blow up your game if she gets upset at you about something. So I think they know that about her. So I think they're going to keep her at a distance. So the five points is essentially the real alliance and the tanks is the fake alliance, if that makes sense. That's just my thought about it. Not sure if that's really going to be how it works out. Um, I'm so happy about t -Core and Chemo actually talking game with each other, with other people. Um, I'm so happy about that. He was talking to Brooklyn and um, not trusting Quinn. So I think that is going to become a factor. They talked to Leah. They talked to Mackenzie. So now I guess the plan is to possibly turn on Cedric and vote him out. What do you think? Is that a great idea? Um, as they know, Cedric is a strong player. Um, and it's Rabina and Mackenzie on the block next to him. So... I don't know. I think that might be the best thing for them to do. Um, as Chemo said, he loves Cedric, uh, but he feels that him and T-Core at the bottom of the barrel in the collective and that they could easily vote them out um, 
and not think about it. So we'll see how this cookie crumbles. So in the next section, um, it was the BBAI Arena. And this was a really interesting game called Upload Download. And basically, um, each player had to get five balls to the top of an angled, um, I don't know what you call that, an angled thing. And they had to ramp, ramp. And they had to land them at the top. And then once all five were at the top, then they had to use these sp smaller spheres to get the bigger spheres on the other side of the um, ramps, the two ramps. And so the person that did it the fastest won. Who do you think won? I seriously thought that Cedric had a great chance of winning, but actually Mackenzie won. And Rabina came in really close to winning. Um, Mackenzie hit the the um, her button first, but literally Rabina was running at the same time, kind of scrambling. So it was a really close race between the two ladies that were up on the block. So Mackenzie is safe. How do you think the house is gonna um, respond? Um, what do you think is gonna happen next? So the last part of this episode is that um, obviously Mackenzie won. She took herself off the block. So you have Cedric and Rabina left. Cedric thought that he wasn't going to get voted out, which is sad because I really like Cedric a lot. And I think he had a lot, of, lot more game to play. But sadly, he did get voted out. Um, the vote was six to three, um, and Cam, Brooklyn, and I forget the last vote, Chelsea are the people that wanted him to stay. Every, everybody else voted for him to go. He said he kind of knew that in the interview. What do you think will happen next? Um, I don't know. In that's targeting because now Tucker's target's gone. So, well, one of his targets gone. He still has Quinn. Um, but we'll see how that goes. The other exciting news that they announced um, on this episode was the AI instigator. It kind of is what I thought, which was to stir up drama, stir up some stuff in this house. And then we get to vote who that person is. We then get to, I guess, say, or America, when I say us, America gets to vote on who it is. America also, I think, gets to vote on how well they did. And then America gets to award them some money. I just love it. Oh, so much new stuff. Um, but it looks like we have a week to vote. So I thought it was going to be on Sunday's episode, but... It's a week to vote. So, get to voting. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Who do you think America's going to vote for? I feel like Quinn will have a lot of votes. Tucker will have a lot of votes. And possibly Angela. I feel like those three people are kind of like the most popular people right now in the house. So, those are people that I think will have the most votes. So, we'll see if I'm right. What are your predictions? Who do you think will um, have the most votes and win that power. All right, until next time, bye.